Good morning, I'm Penny and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're at Hengisbury Head. This morning we are at Hengisbury Head. Um, I've been here before just after Storm Dennis. Storm Dennis. The conditions are completely different. It is a very still day. Blue sky, not much cloud in the sky. High sun. It's, quite, it's not ideal um, landscape photography lighting. Um, but it is so beautiful and we have had such dull dull weather lately I don't care so but I think in my mind today we are going to go for reflections because it's quite still um, and see how that goes uh, so we're not walking on the beach side I'm walking on the other side of the head which is um, more of a I've forgotten the word, the wildlife park at the moment, so there's reeds and pools. You're going to have to forgive me because there's people around who feel quite self-conscious because I'm walking with a camera pointing to my face, which I'm sure you can imagine what that looks like. <laughs> but anyway, let's get on. See you in a minute. Okay, right, there's a path just behind you where people can watch me, so I do feel a bit self-conscious, but it doesn't matter. Now, I've stopped here because there's this insanely cool tree, um, and I'm going to have a look around, see if I can get a photo of it, but the problem is, is it's blue skies, and it is half ten in the morning, so the sun is really high in the sky, so... As beautiful as these weather conditions are, um, not ideal landscape. So I don't know if I'll be able to get a nice picture, but it's certainly one to remember uh, to come back to on a, maybe a nice misty dark morning. We'll see. But anyway, I'm going to have a look around with my camera and see if I can sort of muster up a picture worthwhile taking. If I can't, it's myself and I'm going to blame the light like all photographers. But anyway, let's, uh, let's see if we can get on with it and do it. had a good look around and um, as brilliant as this tree is the conditions just are not suiting the subject so I think this is one to put in the memory bank Boop. for later for better conditions uh, I think maybe you know early in the morning where there's a bit of mist and fog this is going to make a fantastic shot or maybe in the evening so I'm not going to take a shot at this tree but definitely a bit of a recce, definitely coming back to this at a later date. So, good one. See you later. Okay, so 
another spot I'm going to just check out. Quite like, um, it's very calm the water is, as calm as it's going to get anyway. Uh, the reflections coming down into, well, what is it? Is it a natural harbour or is it a little, it goes out to the sea. So, um, yeah, I think it's a natural harbour. I'd have to check that out. Uh, so anyway, whatever. I like the reflections of the buildings and the boats, but there isn't much foreground, but there is here um, on this path just in front. I don't know if you can see it particularly well from that angle. There's sort of grassy rocks uh, and man-made concrete, I suppose, but it's gone all mossy and grassy. So I'm gonna have a look, get my bag off and have a look through the camera here first uh, to see if, if I can make an image here, but I do like it. Uh, the cloud is starting to build, so there, at least there's some sort of reflection where this morning there wasn't a cloud in sight. So hopefully we'll get a picture here. Excellent. I think that most landscape photographers may say that this was a rubbish photo but stick with me I have no foreground but what I'm taking a picture of is not really the landscape it is the cloud formation reflecting into the water so my foreground is the clouds reflection I don't know am I trying to stretch it out here I do not know but um so what I have done is I've um, set up it has to be very very straight so I've made sure my horizon with my I've made sure my horizon is straight with my camera because I've got a thin line right smack in the middle of the picture which is not recommended but this is what I'm going for this is a look um, it's just got a bit choppy now so I can't take these pictures just at the moment and then I've got the cloud reflecting in the water so I think it looks quite nice um, and certainly with these light conditions I think it's not too bad so we'll see how it turns out I'll show you the picture now Right, the other thing is, um, I've got the polarizer on this shot as well. Oh, my hair. Here we go. Much better. Uh, I've got the polarizer on this shot as well. Um, so I'm going to try and film what I'm doing. Um, so I've got two cameras on the go now, so that will work out well. But um, so, <laughs> as I explained before, or if I don't put on that clip, as I'm going to explain now. This is not um, recommended by lots of photographers, so I've got the, um, the sky reflected in the water and just a straight line smack through the middle of my landscape, which is never recommended. It's just, you know, don't do it normally, but this is very purposeful. This has taken thought. And what I'm taking is really not the landscape, but I'm taking the clouds and my foreground is the reflection of the cloud. Now, so, um, obviously I've used my live view to make sure that this point here, smack in the middle, is in focus. Um, I'm on, well, I'm on f11 and, uh, and it will be all in focus. But the other thing I wanted to show you is I've got polarizer on the end of the camera. So if I turn my polarizer, well, that's actually nicer. So I must take that shot in a minute. But you can see, this is perfect here to see as I twist the end of my polarizer around. So if I move you here, I'm moving the polarizer around. Hopefully you can see how it's affecting 
the picture ultimately. So that's why polarizers are great because that gives you some room to be creative for yourself and choose what you want to do. So anyway, let's stop recording there. Uh, hopefully that is useful. See you in a minute. terrible um, I don't know hang on let's just take that uh, so what I've set up is uh, if I turn around here um, there is a bridge just behind me here and I like the reflection I'm just waiting for people to uh, walk across it so I can get their reflection in it as well um, and then I've taken quite a lot of the foreground, but I might crop that out. Um, I've tried to cut out a lot of the sky because the sky is just got nothing in it at all. It's bright blue, no clouds at all. All oh, that's like some sort of CD cover, so we'll have that. Um, but I've put it in just in case, just thinking of later on. Um, so I've got F11, um, my polarizer to keep the get, keep the reflection up of the bridge I'm hoping that I'm going to make that all black and then just a little bit of detail in the foreground so very simple shot um, I will show it to you now even if it's worked or not but it'd be good to hear your opinion see you in a bit Okay, so I think we've got our final composition, composition uh, because I'm running out of time and I need to get back now. Um, looks quite nice, got the colourful beach huts in the background and the water's just sort of swinging in to lead you in and a bit of cloud, a bit of detail, see if it works out well. But I'm going to have to get you off the tripod to set it up, so you're going to have to bear with me. this at the back of live view uh, see if we can um, show you so the reason for a live view is good for landscapes is you can press you most cameras have this little magnifying button here and you can go up this one goes up 10 times and you can make sure that the point you want to be sharp is sharp by manually focusing it this is not a great example because the camera I'm shooting the back of the camera on isn't showing it sharp but it is sharp so that I think is brilliant facility so um, yes so that's why I use live view 
to do landscapes and really to be able to do that you need it on a tripod so yeah that helps a lot so this picture pretty simple I think we I was talking about it before I set it up but just very simple um, I've used the tops of this tree up here to frame the top of the picture then um, it comes down into the water that hopefully draws you into the picture where the colourful uh, beach huts are and hopefully a little bit of cloud in the sky reflecting in the water and then there's some um, little grasses in the foreground which help with a little bit of interest as well so not a bad last picture Right, so, so I've run out of time now, so uh, I'm going to have to wind it up here. I've had a lovely day, I feel like I've almost got a bit of a suntan. <laughs> um, yeah, I had a really nice time. I'll, I'll make sure if the pictures, I think I've put the pictures up during the video anyway, so hopefully you like them. If you don't, if you do, it doesn't matter, please make a comment, please like, please subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Um, I think you can even hit a little bell so you know when I upload a video. At the moment I seem to be uploading at 12.30 on a Wednesday, so um, yeah, if you like it that'd be great. Uh, and see you in the next video, thank you!